Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to film this fall makeup look for you guys and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to use my Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. And I'm just going to use this as a concealer for my brow bone. Um, so I'm just going to pretty much shape up my brows before I fill them in. I like to use this foundation because it is a few shades. Well, it's not a few. It's maybe like two shades or one lighter than me so I just like to use this for only my brows and I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that out all right so now I'm gonna use my Maybelline Define a brow to fill in my eyebrows and as you can see I took a piece off and I just put it on my NYX cake powder product I didn't mix it together I kind of just set it on there because I didn't have anywhere else to put it but I pretty much just grabbed some product off with my um, eyebrow brush and I fill in my brows. I don't like to use the pencil by itself because I feel like it's too thick and chalky. That's pretty much the best way I can describe it. But I'd rather use my eyebrow brush as opposed to using the actual eyebrow pencil. If that makes any sense. I really hope it does. But you guys should definitely try it out if you guys don't like that pencil either I just feel like it's too much product when you try to apply it on so I'm just gonna fill them in and I'm just gonna brush them out and then clean it up with some cons well the foundation that I was using and just blend out that concealer and then I'm gonna just keep filling it in. I like to make the I like to make half of my brow a little bit darker and then the front part, you know, just a little bit light cuz you don't want it to look too harsh or like too squared. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my eyebrows with the Maybelline Great Lash, which I always use and I absolutely love. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with the NYX Shine Killer. I'm going to apply that in my T-zone area and then whatever is left I will apply on the rest of my face. So now moving on to eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on my eyelids and then just blend it out with my finger. Now grabbing my Morphe 350 M palette, I'm going to go ahead and use that just to set my primer and I'm only putting it on my eyelids. Now using that lighter eyeshadow, I'm gonna go ahead and set my brow bone area. Okay, so now moving on to transition shade, I'm gonna use that light brown and apply it into my crease. It did take me about like 10 minutes to blend this out, so trust me, just keep blending and believing yourself. It'll all come together, but you have to put some effort in it. So blend and just keep blending pretty much. Alright, so now I'm going to apply some tape, and I'm not putting this for a cleaner, sharper look. I'm just putting it because my eyes do water sometimes, and the last time I did this look, my eyeliner got everywhere, like in my waterline and stuff, and it looked kind of bad. So, I'm just putting this so that when I put eyeliner, or like if my eyes water, my eyeshadow doesn't mess up. So, I'm going to apply a little bit more. Well, I'm not applying any, sorry. I'm just going to keep touching it up and blending it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a darker brown and I'm focusing that in my outer V area and then I bring it forward into my crease. So I went ahead and got a different blending brush and I'm just going to blend, well keep blending it out so it doesn't look too harsh and it looks well blended and I'm just gonna grab my other brush that has the product on it I didn't grab any more I'm just using whatever is left on the brush and I'm just gonna keep blending okay so now grabbing that darker brown I'm gonna go ahead and focus it on my outer V and I'm gonna intens intensify it a little bit so just keep applying product until you get the desired look and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out I'm mainly focusing it in my outer corner and bringing 
it forward into my crease but I'm only doing that because I want it to blend in with the transition shade so then I'm gonna grab that other brush that I was using and just keep blending it out so that it all comes together now grabbing that darker brown I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna just keep applying that brown just to darken it up a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and blend it out and as you can tell this one I am not bringing it forward I'm just leaving it where I put it and I'm just going to blend it out so you don't see any harsh lines. Alright so now grabbing my NYX eyeshadow base I'm going to go ahead and carve out my crease. So first I'm just applying it on my eyelid and then I will start carving it out. So I'm going to use the same eyeshadow I used to set my primer and I'm going to put that where I put the NYX eyeshadow base and I am carefully doing it because I don't want it to mess up anything else. I just want to focus it where I put the base. So anyways, I'm going to just use that brush. I'm not applying any product. I'm using whatever is left on the brush and I'm just going to try to blend in the eyeshadow now moving on to eyeliner i'm going to use my nyc high definition eyeliner and i'm just going to go ahead and create the wings and then i'm going to start filling them in Now I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara. I'm using the CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara. So now that we're done with the eye makeup, we're going to move on to face makeup. I'm going to go ahead and use my Milani um, foundation and my Maybelline Matte and Poreless. And I'm mixing those two together. And let me just tell you, it's the best combination ever because it gives you this nice matte finish look. And I absolutely love it. So as I mix those together, I'm just going to apply it on my face and then blend it out with my Real Techniques Beauty, Splen Beauty Sponge. Um, but you guys should definitely try this out if you guys have um, an oily face. Just because it worked out really good for me. I think this is the second time I tried it out. And it's actually lasted longer than usual because the Milani foundation is full coverage and then the Maybelline is matte so those put those two put together just make an amazing combination and it just leaves this nice matte finish which I love because I always want my face to just stay matte all day which is nearly impossible but you can always try so now moving on to the LA Girl Pro Conceal I'm using this dark concealer to contour now let me just tell you that I don't know if it's just my concealer but it was so hard to blend out because it dries so fast. So um, I don't recommend this concealer because it just didn't work out. I mean I used it for the sake of this video because I do like the shade. And I, didn't, I don't have a problem with my um, actual concealer that I use for LA Girl. Like the one that's in my shade. But this one just was not cooperating with me. So I'm just going to go ahead and contour like the usual. But I just wanted to let you guys know that it just didn't work out. It was so hard to blend with the beauty sponge and the brush. So um, I'm going to have to see if like I could buy another one and see if maybe it's just the one that I have that dries out so fast. But yeah, because I really like the shade. It just didn't work out. So now I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose and this was like my biggest mistake because a lot of products came out and it was just not blending so it took a while for me to blend that out but I was able to make it work.
Now moving on to my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. I'm going to put that in my under eye area and my forehead, my nose, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin. So now I'm just going to go ahead and blend out my concealer and the concealer kind of helped out with the harsh contour because I'm not going to lie, the contour looks kind of off just because like I said I wasn't able to blend it out. I mean I tried but it was just not cooperating. Using my Laura Mercier translucent powder I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer. Now using my City Color Contour Effects palette, I'm going to go ahead and apply that bronzer. Now I'm just going to go ahead and dust off my translucent powder and because I want that extra coverage I'm going to go ahead and apply my Rimmel Stay Matte powder and just apply that where I had put my translucent powder. I feel like this will help out in making sure that my face stays set for most of the day. So now moving on to blush I'm going to use my Milani Flora Passion blush and just apply that on the apples of my cheeks so using my Rimmel coral glow contour palette i'm gonna use the highlight to highlight pretty much i feel like my entire face but usually like on the bridge of my nose uh, my cupid's bow, my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin. Moving on to lashes, I'm using these Kara 605 eyelashes, and I did apply them off camera, but I do get these at the Swami for a dollar, and they are totally worth it. I, this is my first time trying these out, and they're super nice. So I'm just gonna the first clip that you guys saw I just was using whatever was left on the brush and then I decided to grab that brown shadow and apply that in my waterline area all right so grabbing that darker brown I'm gonna put it in the same area that I put that other brown I'm just gonna smoke out my under eye area and then I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and it's the same mascara I used for my top lashes. So now grabbing my Mika glitter, I'm going to put that in my inner corner. And I know this clip is a little bit blurry but you guys can kind of see what I'm doing there. And I don't know if you guys have noticed but I always have to incorporate some glitter into my eye looks. And I really like how this came out with the glitter. So now using this vanilla bean lip scrub, I'm going to go ahead and just exfoliate my lips so that when I apply my lipstick, it'll look nicer. And I believe I got this at G stage. Now I'm going to go ahead and just wipe it off with a little towel that I have. Alright, so now moving on to lipstick, I'm first going to line my lips with the Kylie Jenner Court K Lip Liner. And I'm going to go ahead and just fill in my lips with this too before I apply the liquid lipstick. I did use the liquid lipstick in my in the look that I had in my Instagram photo. But I decided I wanted to use my Ofra liquid lipstick that's 
I'm not really sure what it's called, but I know that it's part of the Manny MUA collection. I think it's Charmed. I'm not really sure, but I will leave it linked down below for you guys, like the name and everything. But that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going to fill in fill it in with that liquid lipstick. The one thing I hate about this, though, is that it doesn't dry. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just set my entire face with the NYX setting spray. And that basically completes the look. And I really hope you guys like this tutorial. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.